Welcome back to NK LG's Math Class. On today's uh, tutorial, we are going to be looking at 23 jump mathematics question and answers because we have really studied some questions on mathematics that we think that it will come out. So, if today is the first time of watching our channel, please kindly what like and subscribe because we are going to be dropping more of questions you have to expect in this year mathematics question we have turned around the past questions and we have picked out the most common questions which come out last year last two years and it keep on coming out so please if today is the first time of watching our channel can you do what like subscribe and what drop a comment so we have a more question here now we have a more question here this question is, yes you're seeing right now are the common questions that jump repeats every year if you have the past question you will know that these are the questions that Jam will list. So we are going to be dropping more of it today. Just four of the questions we're going to solve today. So um, as time goes on, we should drop more of it. So please, can you subscribe? Now, this one question is matrix. Is matrix. I will just show us how to solve it in a simple, 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 simpler way. I will show us how to solve it in a simpler way. Now let's go. Let's look at this place now. Here we have the question minus x, and this matrix is two by two. Two by two matrix minus x. 12 minus 1, 4 equals to what? Equals to minus 12. Now, for me to solve this uh, operation or this matrix by or 2 by 2, what happened? I will just what, name it with the operation by saying, here is my what? Positive and my what? Negative. So, if you have studied your matrix, you will understand what happened here. This is the what operation that guides this uh, matrix, which means that here is positive, here is negative. And because here is 2 by 2 matrix, it's very easy to solve. So what happened? Minus x times 4. Mean that minus x times 4 is what? Minus 4x. So what we have here now is that minus 12 times minus 1. What we have is what? Plus 12. I repeat again. Minus x multiply 4 is what? Minus 4x. Minus 12 times minus 1 is what plus 12 based on the operation of what the signs so equals to what equals to minus 12 the next thing to do is what correct like terms collect like terms we have minus 4x equals to minus 12 minus 12 what do we have here we have minus 4x equals to minus 24 so as you can see right now what the next thing to do is, what, is to divide both sides by what negative 4 Minus 4. That is what we're going to do to find our x. So divide both sides. Divide both sides by minus 4. So we have here minus, minus 4. So next is what? Minus 4x divided by minus 4 equals to minus 24 divided by minus 4. So negative cancel ne negative is what? Positive. So 4 divided 4, we have what? x equals to minus divided by minus is positive 24 divided by 4 is what 6 so our answer is what s equals to what 6 so this is our final answer for number one question please make sure that you what you go with this question like try and study this question because it will come out okay we go to number two okay now let's go to number two questions this is number two question and we have um five three nine x to equals to three five four and five okay so the same thing we did we did, we did in the first place that is what we're going to do again being that we name or we do what we name the equation by saying that here's what my positive negative positive and negative so this is by two by two or two by two matrix so what will i do i'll say plus five times 2 is what 10 plus 5 times 2 is what 10 minus 3 okay let me just make it in a special form that we can understand clearly we mean plus 5 multiplied by 2 then this is a minus minus 3 times x okay i do, do get it now this is expansion okay now number one we're not expanding like that just Number two, expand that you can get clearly again based on jam. Jam, because in jam question, what I have to do is that in jam question, you don't waste time. 
you don't go by going with solving long or, or, sol or solving just to, move, but to get the answer. If there's any short way you can do it, make sure you just do it and it's right. So I can get your answer. So in time will not shut down. Okay. So what happened here? Plus three. Multiply by what? Five minus five multiplied by what? Four. So what happened here? Okay. So plus five times two is what? Ten. Minus three multiply x is what? Three x. Equals to plus 3 times 5 is what? Plus 15 times 15 minus 5 times 4 is what? 20. Okay, so what next? Collect like terms, okay? Collect like terms. Collect like terms. Mean that minus 3x equals to 15 minus 20 minus what? 10. Mean that 15 minus 20 is what? Minus 5. Minus 5 minus 10 is what minus 15 so minus 3x equals to minus 15 what happened divide both sides divide both side by minus 3 because it's easy to find our x so we have a minus 3x over minus 3 equals to minus 15 divided by minus 3 being that minus by minus is positive to get by 3 it's gone. We have what? X equals to minus divided by minus is positive. 15 divided by 3 is what? 5. So our answer is what? 5. Okay. So this is the solving. I say it again. Make sure you study this question. So that you won't say I die know. Make sure you study this question. Because this question will come out in your jump. Three question. And this number three question is different from this other one to be solved. The two be solved is, is what is the matrix. Why this one is what trigonometry? Okay, so let's go to the board. Number three. It says um, sine if sine theta is equals to twelve over three over thirteen. Sorry, twelve over thirteen. So find the uh, find one find one plus cos theta. This is the question, and this is a jump question. Please pay attention to this surface, okay? Now what I'm going to do first is to draw your what your triangle, your white angle, your white angle triangle, your white angle triangle in order to what illustrate what they mean by this. Okay, so for this, okay, let me see sketch where for. Okay, now please be careful of, of, of this um solving because it's very simple, but most people feel it a lot because of this feel that is the diagram is not no, does not matter. Where, where the diagram matters whenever you're plotting it or solving it, except an S part that you cannot go straight away, straight away to solve it. But if you're not an S part, make sure what you get it clearly or the diagram clearly before you start solving. So what happened here is that I'm going to what name it now. Here will be my C, here will be my um A, and here will be my B. I repeat, here will be my C, here will be my A, and here will be my what my B. So being that this C is facing this hypotenuse, why this A is facing what the opposite? Why this B is facing what the ascent? So and also don't forget to introduce what they call Sokatua. Sokatua will guide you. Sokatua is a principal guide. Sokatua. 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 Please. This is very important. This is very, very important. This is very, very important. So that's why we guide you on how to go about it. Okay, so what we might that to is that we have sine. Sine is what? Sine simply means sine is equals to what? Sine equals to opposite. Opposite. I'm using this to to operate. Opposite over hypotenuse. So what is the opposite? Is what? 12 over what? Hypotenuse is what? 13. So that is, is have you said how come we have this two over thirteen? It's because here is our opposite, and so and here is our what our hypotenuse. We now come back to the diagram now. So where is our opposite here? Where is the hypotenuse and where is our other sense here? Yes, is opposite. Here is opposite. Here is twelve. Twelve. And here is what hypotenuse, which is what thirteen. So what we're looking for is what other sense. 
which is unknown x. So what happened? If we're going to apply Pythagoras theory, I believe we should be we should know our formula of um, Pythagoras theory. Applying Pythagoras theory. Okay, so what is the uh, Pythagoras theory? It says c square equals to a square plus b square. Okay, so this is what formula for Pythagoras theory. So now we have c as what c is our what thirteen, right? So thirteen square equals to what's our a? The a is a. I swear that a is a. So that c is a. I swear that b is a. So do you get it right now? Okay. So this is our prefix. Our a square is what twelve. So we have here as twelve square. Plus b is it given? No, it's not given. So b square. What happened? We make b the word. So the formula, which is x. So what happened? We say b square equals to. You can say x square. Any of the let's let's use s square because it's x. Let's say s square. So our b has become what x. So s square equals to thirteen square minus. 12 square which means that s square equals to 13 square means what 13 times 13 is what 169 13 square means 13 times 13 169 minus 12 square means what 12 times 12 is what 144 which means s square equals to 169 minus 144 we have about 25 okay so Oops. So, S square, so we square root of this side, take square root of, take square root of both side, which means that um, square root of X square, sorry, I think it's the same thing, okay, equals to um, square root of 25. Which means square cancel square root is what x. So the square root of the square root of twenty five is what is five. So we are getting s as what five. We now go back to the question, which says cos theta one plus cos theta. So we don't know what is cos theta yet. So we say that we now say that cos theta simply means what cos theta means what other side over hypotenuse. That is what it means by what um cos theta. It means Adding over hypotenuse, so being that adding over hypotenuse equals to now we come back to our sign, yes, opposite and hypotenuse. There, there's no other sense. So, our answer we got here as five. So, our answer we got as five is our what other sense because the new value so is our other sense over our hypotenuse. Let's go back to your sign again. You have hypotenuse, yes, we have hypotenuse as what 18. As 13, so 5 over 13 is our what cos theta. We now repeat the question which is find find 1 plus cos theta. So we so we say find 1 plus cos theta, so which means that 1 plus our cos theta is what 5 over 13. 5 over 13. That is our cos theta. Based on what we have here, cos theta is because of what? Adjacent over hypotenuse equals to 5 over 13. So we find the LCM equals to the SL over 1 to the to our LCM. So SL is what? 13. 1 divide 13. 1 going to 13 is what? 13. 13 times 1 is 13. I repeat, 1 going to 13 is what? 13. 13 times 1 is 13 plus. 13 divided 13 is 1. 1 times 5 is what? 5. So it goes to 13 plus 5 is what? 18 over 13. So this is our final answer for finding 1 plus cos theta. Okay? This is our final answer. You can rewatch the video again to get what is solved here. So we we'll go to the next one. Number 4 question. Given that theta is an acute angle, and tan theta equals to what 12 over 15. So what happened? We draw our word as usual to illustrate the question to illustrate 
instruction. Okay, so tan theta simply means what? Um, tan theta, tan theta means what? We don't know. What we're going to do? We're going to use this word sukatua. Don't forget, okay? This is our key point here. Sukatua is our key point for solving this trigonometry ratio. So our uh, theta say what? Opposite of our uh, adjacent. So we have gotten our, our what? Person or uh, uh, formula here. Opposite of our what? Adjacent. So which means what? Twelve over fifteen. Twelve over fifteen. This for, for me. Let's look at the value. Now here's our what? So here's our C. Here's our A. And here's our what? B. Don't forget, okay? In our, first, our previous video, that's what we did in the previous video. Now, C is what? It's facing the what? The hypotenuse. Our A is facing the what? Opposite. And our B is facing the what? Adjacent. Being that our opposite is what? 12. Our adjacent is what? 15. So, we are looking for what? The hypotenuse. Which is what x we don't know it is unknown. So let, let's use the value of x. So this is this of now what illustrate or illustrate this instruction. Now we can answer it. Being that we are going to what apply applying what Pythagoras applying um Pythagoras theory applying Pythagoras theory Pythagoras theory just like what we did in previous in previous um uh solving the Okay, which means what c square? Let me spend my card to illustrate the formula, the particular theory of rule is c square equals to a square plus b square. So our c square is what is unknown. So we say x square equals to our a square minus here's our a. Let me use our, bl our black marker to mark it. Now here's our small letter a, here's our small letter c. I need to put that word B. So, so that you don't get confused of what you're doing. So, our A is what? 12 square. And our B is what? 15 square. Okay. So, let's go to S square equals to 12 times 12 is what? 1, 4, 4 plus 15. Multiply 15 is what? 2 to 5. 2 to 5. So, what happened? We add them together. S squared equals to 144 plus 2 to 5 is what? 369. 369. So, we say take square root of both sides. Take square root of both sides. Which means that. Uh, here yeah, is our uh, x. So let's square root square equals to square root of three six nine. So what happened? Square that's a square. We have x and equals to the square root of three six nine is nineteen decimal nineteen decimal. 20 19 decimal 20. So let's put it here. Approximately, yeah, approximately become what? Approximately is what? 19. So we have gotten our, therefore, our sine theta, which is what they ask us. Sine theta is what? This sine theta is, um, we come out to Sukatua again. We have opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse okay so equals to yeah now we say our uh, opposite is what is 12 is 12 over our hypotenuse is is now what 19 now 19 so this is our final answer so as you can see this is a final answer for number four we have given you one to four questions so it's very simple. Thanks for watching this video. And if today is your first day or first time of seeing our video, please kindly what like, subscribe, drop a comment, even share it to your friends. 
Don't mind you, this will not be the end of this video. We'll be releasing questions that we come out in jam. I said again, especially mathematics, we are going to be using jam questions just like what we did now. This one is the four questions we have checked out. Not only me, we or, and our, our team have come out together and bring out this question. And also, we're going to drop down again. So, what for you to get it, pin out our YouTube channel so that whenever we post, you can get it when we release the question. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.